Okay, guys, so I'm back, part four of the wake-up call. So I wanted to touch on some more details. I'm going to go specifically kind of in order of how I got them and the timing. I'm not going to go into great detail about like how I painted it or anything. Um, just want to share the order and the timing. So August of 17, I got the crazy apocalyptic weather painting. Then in September, I got the woman in the earth with the water. Then, remember October? October, I got the dragon. November, I got the earthquake symbol. In December, I got the eagle's wings. It was, and then uh, I got a few more that really didn't make sense. One had like an alien looking butterfly along with a warhead type situation um, with a sword in it, which was very strange. And then a bridge that was falling down and water beside it. So it was like very warlike. And so all those were happening August up, in, up until about January. I was getting all those paintings. And that's, of course, when I was still not quite awake yet. I was still doing my thing. I was still very wilding. <laughs> okay. And so then when I woke up in March, of course, I learned that they meant something. And then I started on that path over the next year of seeking out God and trying to figure out what it all meant. Um, during that year, I didn't really, I got a few paintings here and there, but for the most part, the bulk of the paintings happened in that first year, half when I was asleep and half when I was awake. I did get prompted to paint more, but it was different because I was actually in tune with what was happening. The Holy Spirit would nudge me and I would go paint or I would have a vision and I would paint. Um, so let me go ahead and hit the dream. So after I had surrendered to God, the first dream I had that was very distinct, I had a very distinct gut feeling about it. I didn't understand it, but here's what, here's what it was. Um, I was in my old apartment and everybody, there was a commotion outside and everyone was running outside and I looked up and there were parachute men just falling out of the sky and fake money is what it looked like. Some kind of little paper looked like money, but it was, but it, when it, as it got closer, it looked fake, like it looked like fake money. Um, and all the little kids were running out. Um, I'm sorry, let me go back. They were fake parachute men, like those little toys, like the little toy shoulder guys with the parachute. There was tons of them and all the little kids were running out and getting them and all the grown-ups were coming out and getting the money. Well, it wasn't really money, it was fake money. And I started yelling at them, like, go back in, go back in, it's a distraction. Turn away, go back in, go back in. Then I woke up, but I wrote it all down because it seemed very distinct. I do have a video on here, um, I don't know, back when all of the stuff happened to Israel and I started seeing the parachute guys coming down and all the leaflets that were being dropped in Gaza. As soon as I saw it, it was like this, it was in my mind. I immediately thought of that dream. And it was like, that is the scene I saw, except for it was toy soldiers instead of real ones. The next one was, I was in a place that I didn't know, a home, a house that I didn't know. I look outside and there are Asian um, I didn't know if they were Chinese, Korean, North Korean. I didn't know what type of Asian because they were at a distance, but they were knocking on people's doors in the neighborhood. Some had military uniforms and some had plain clothes, but they were knocking on people's doors as they were coming down and they would go in your house. They were taking your technology, like your phones, your laptops, any kind of technology you had, they were taking it if they wanted it. Um, and then the, some people, they were just kicking out of their house and taking their houses. And so I immediately like grabbed a bunch of stuff, like grabbed the phones and the laptop and the, or the tablets and was like stuffing them in bags. And me and the kids like ran out the back door and took off down some trails in the woods or something. And I was like, this is crazy. And that's all it was. I woke up and I was like, what in the world? But I had the same gut feeling, distinct feeling. So I wrote it all down. And then the next one, these are like, you know, spread out 
over a few months, okay? They weren't like back to back to back. I had I have a whole lot of weird dreams that I don't ever write down because they don't feel like anything significant. It just seems like whatever I was talking about that day. Um, but these were distinct out of nowhere. Like, Well, I say out of nowhere. They were from God. <laughs> but anyway. Um, so then another one I had was, see, I have all these listed in my phone, but I'm using my phone to make this video, <laughs> but I have them listed in order. It's so much easier. Um, okay. So I had another dream about two sons. I dreamed that I was, and I was in Memphis, Tennessee at a restaurant and I, and it was a sports place, like a sports bar and grill. And my son was in the marching band at his college. Um, and so in the dream, in real life, he was in the marching band in college. And in the dream, it was a bowl game. And my son had actually been, he was gone, uh, I think they were gone to Arizona or Georgia or somewhere to a bowl game. And he was playing, you know, in the band. Okay, so in this dream, I was in this restaurant. And I was like, hey, can we turn on the ball game? My son's playing in the band. I really want to see the game. I want to see my son playing in the band. And then all of a sudden, I look outside and everybody's looking up at the sky. And I was like, what's going on? And I go out there and I look and there are two suns side by side. Of course, this is a dream. One of the suns, you know, a kaleidoscope. Like when you turn the kaleidoscope and it starts changing shape and color. So it was doing that. It was, it was like, it was something was happening on the sun's surface that was changing its shape and color, but it was mostly just black and orange. It really wasn't, uh, colorful. But what was funny, though, is immediately I thought of frequency. I kept thinking frequency. It was changing frequency. And I remembered seeing this, what the shapes of it weren't exactly like a kaleidoscope. They reminded me, I got this piece of hair sticking up crazy. What the heck is really going on? Sorry. <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> okay, so... You know those, have you ever seen where they have like a metal plate and they hook, they turn a, a certain frequency and they put sand on it or salt. And when they turn the knob to a different certain frequency, the, it'll vibrate and it'll turn into a certain shape. And then they change it to a different frequency and it turns into a different shape. Okay. Those were the shapes that were happening on the sun in the stream. It was changing like a kaleidoscope, but it was changing into those shapes. And I was like, oh, it's changing. The frequency is changing. Do y'all see that? And I was asking all the people around, do you see that? That's crazy. What's going on? And they were like, just like, yeah, I see it. But they were just like, whatever. No big deal. And then the second son just disappeared. And I was like, that's weird. So I wrote all that down because I had the same gut feeling the next day. Write it down. So I wrote it down. And then it wasn't like two months later, maybe three months. Some Body on, I don't even think, I wasn't on TikTok or anything back then. Um, I think it was on YouTube. And you know how they'll be listening. <laughs> you know they do, because you could be talking about something. All of a sudden, all this stuff is popping up in the, in the feed that you were talking about to someone. And you never searched it, right? So all of a sudden, I started seeing these videos people were posting. And there were two suns in the sky. Hey y'all, I'm so sorry it cut off. I ran out of time, didn't realize it. So, uh, and I'm uploading part three and then I'm going to work on part four.